good morning. It's still morning, right? I know. So it's a new year and I'm trying to get up a little earlier. How about that? There you go. And now you get to see the whole, well, you see that a lot. I, it's funny. Hi, by the way, my name is Tia Goins. I'm a country music artist. I'm out of Nashville, Tennessee. And this is a typical Tuesday, but it's, it's a new year. So maybe things won't be so typical anymore right? Like, are we trying to make some changes? Is anyone else out there trying to like do a few things different? I'm trying to go to bed a little earlier and I'm trying to, um, yeah, uh, get up a little earlier, go to bed a little. I, I, there around the holidays, I was going to bed like three or four in the morning. It's not good. Don't do it. Don't do three or four in the morning. It's not good for anyone. But anyway, Good morning. I hope that you are doing well. I'm going to go ahead and put some makeup on if that's okay. Because that's what I'm doing this morning. I'm going to go have lunch with a friend. And um, yeah. So you're going to get to see this whole process. Which Lord knows what this is going to look like. I'll look back on this and go, wow. You really shouldn't have done that. But anyway. If you want to know how I do my makeup. <laughs> it's pretty doggone simple because I typically don't wear much makeup, to be quite honest. I'm not a big makeup wearer uh, on most days. I don't, you know, even put makeup on. I just kind of mill around haphazardly around my day. But uh, yeah, anyway, I was kind of doing this as a QA, and a so if anybody has any questions or anything like that. And I would love to know if you're changing up your routine uh, for new year. I don't like to call it a resolution or whatever. It's not really that. I'm just trying to like reboot. Are you having a new year reboot? I'm trying to reboot. I'm trying to go to bed earlier. I'm trying to get up earlier. So far it's working a little bit, kind of. Brandon, Brandon laughs from the other room. Thanks, babe, for the vote of confidence. Anyway, he said don't lie. Anyway, if you're interested, I just used um, Honest Face Primer. It's Glow. Is the color, I guess. I don't know. Do people, I, I'm trying, I watch people do this kind of stuff, but it doesn't matter. This isn't a tutorial by any means because I don't know what I'm doing. And you'll see how truly like my makeup is not much. Anyway, um, but I do like this kind. That's the kind of foundation I used to, is honest. You can get it at Target or online or whatever. It doesn't matter. So anyway, um, but yeah, I'm trying to go to bed earlier, trying to get up a little earlier. That's kind of my New Year situation. Um, look how dark my hair is. Y'all don't even know how dark my real hair is. I've been trying to kind of grow it out and let it be more like its natural color. And I know that this makeup looks super dark right now, but it's not what you blended in. So don't think I'm trying to, but you know, I like to kind of feel like I have a tan in the winter time. I do use um, self tanner, which I really love. That helps me uh, get through the summer and so I when I use self tanner I have to use a little bit darker makeup just because it all matches you know you know girl stuff anyway so how's everybody I see you guys on there you can say hi you can if you've got questions if you've got whatever um what we're trying to do we I say we like there's more than one of me um what I'm trying to do is build up my YouTube page um, Facebook has been less than stellar recently. Um, I don't feel like they are sharing my stuff. Uh, I don't think people are seeing my stuff like they used to. So I'm trying to kind of move it all over here to YouTube, which is difficult. I'm not going to lie to you guys. That's really been hard. Um, because a lot of folks aren't as familiar with YouTube. Everybody watches YouTube videos but they don't know about having a YouTube account and being able to comment on stuff. They just watch videos. It's free to have a YouTube account. There's no cost. Um, you sign up just like you signed up for Facebook or you signed up for Instagram or whatever you use for your social media. But you sign up on there and then you can subscribe to people and then get notifications for when they make live videos like we're doing right now. This is a live chat. I did live chats on Facebook um, for a long, long time. And I, I still like to do that, but I don't feel like people are seeing them. So I'm trying to kind of switch over. I'm trying to like, and it's hard because there's about, I don't know, I think I have like a hundred thousand followers on Facebook, which is amazing. 
but if I could just get all 100,000 over here, hi Julie, uh, that would be epic. So if you want to share this video and let people know what's happening, that would be great. Um, maybe not this video. There are probably better videos of me like singing and whatnot that you could share to drive people over here, but anyway, yeah. So I'm just going to put my makeup on and if you guys have questions or whatever, or if you don't want to talk at all, we can just hang this thing up. But this video series uh, that I have on, I've got three different video series on YouTube. Uh, this one, which is called Typical Tuesday, which is just a live chat. And I don't know what I'm going to be doing. Some days I'm on my walk, which my walk has been a little earlier. So that's good, right? Um, anyway, I sometimes I'm on my walk. Sometimes I may be doing something totally, you know, random. I might be uh, walking through Walmart. I don't know. I, I Typical Tuesdays, they're pretty typical. They're typical just like yours. Maybe I'm doing laundry or something, which I really need to do. Does your laundry get backed up over the holidays? Mine has gotten like backed up over the holidays. I'm not gonna lie. I have some that's done. I just haven't washed or I haven't um, folded it yet. But I've still got a couple of loads that need to be done now. So that'll be <laughs> typical Tuesday, maybe this evening anyway. Um, but yeah, we have typical Tuesdays, which is a series. We've done, I think three or four of these. Um, and then we have couch covers, which we will have a new couch cover video uh, this week, probably on Wednesday or Thursday. Um, but yeah, couch covers is Ben Hall and I acoustically sitting on my big comfy couch in the other room and uh, just doing some acoustic covers of songs that you know, songs that you don't know, songs that you're familiar with. Maybe you're not familiar with them. I don't know but it's cool um and if you have any uh suggestions or requests for the cover, couch cover videos please put them in the comments because i will check those out and one may try to do those for you is the light weird because i have like a light behind me and a light in front of me it looks kind of weird but anyway so yeah that's um that's what's happening here uh like i said i'm working on trying to uh change my sleep patterns a little bit for the new year is anyone else doing anything like that my mom uh redecorated her <laughs> not redecorated re uh i don't know what the word would be but she like um wow look at that doesn't that look terrible if there are guys watching this they're like what on earth i don't know it's what people do they do it and so then girls just go oh maybe that's something i should do so we do it's random it won't stay like that though don't worry uh <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, but um, my mom actually like re like she moved all of her furniture like she rearranged rearranged that's the word she rearranged her furniture um, this week and is still rearranging. In fact, I called her earlier this morning and she's like, I just moved my little. She has this. My aunt kind of is like a interior decorator by like hobby. And she literally like made my mom this tree, tree? It's like a tree. It's like these big branches in this big vase thing. Anyway, my mom was working on the tree this morning. So there's that. See, that doesn't look so bad, right? And this is new. I've never used this before. I may hate it. Luckily it only costs $3 at Walmart because there you go. I don't know. But a friend of mine does makeup. And she, ladies, if you care, um, she told me about this trick. You put your um, concealer on, which this is just like, may oh, it's in Spanish. Okay. Anyway, it's, it's Maybelline, I think. Yeah, Maybelline. Anyway, but you put on your concealer and then you take setting spray, which you can get anywhere. I got this at Walmart and it was like three bucks. And you spray it on this thing and you like when it's kind of damp you like do that on top of your concealer and it makes your concealer stay on better then after you do that you take your just your powder you know like your whatever it's called um what's that called what kind of powder is this 
I can't remember what it's called. Bless your heart, Dale. He's eating lunch and watching me put on makeup. That's good times, my friend. Huh? Shut, it's not, no, it's not in Spanish. And Brandon's in the other room. It's not in Spanish. My concealer was in Spanish, but the, he said it's L powder. Um, what's it called? It's like the translucent, translucent powder. That's what it's called. Anyway, yeah, translucent powder. So you put that under your eye a little bit and it just like holds your stuff all together for the day, which it does. It actually does do that. I can account, I can attest to it. And my friend's a professional, so she knows what's happening. As for me, I do not. Anyway, hi, who just, somebody commented, I think it was Steve. Yes, he's talking about our Heber Spring show. Uh, we can talk about that for sure. Um, if you live anywhere around the Heber Springs, Arkansas area, I'm gonna be at the Mountaintop Cowboy Church with Ben Hall on Saturday, January the 30th. I think it's the 30th, but it's the Saturday. And uh, I believe the show starts around six o'clock. Correct me if I'm wrong, Steve, you're watching this. Um, but yeah, we, we just aren't doing very many shows these days. So it's always nice to have a show. This is a free show, by the way, 6 p.m. Thank you, Steve. Uh, this is a free show, but this seating is limited. So you can go to my website, yeah, the fun starts at 6.01. That's right. I'm telling you what. And we're going to do a lot of stuff. We're going to do a lot of country, a lot of gospel. We'll probably do a request segment, kind of a stump the band thing for Ben and I. We like to do that in our in our shows. So, yeah, um, come and see us. It'll be really fun. But get in touch. Uh, you can reach them. I'm sure you, if you want to put the phone number or the, the website on there, Steve, that would be fine. But you can also go to tiagoins.com, which is just, I have just updated that just uh, yesterday. So you can jump on there and, um, ooh, nice. He said ACDC covers with Ben and Tia. Don't test us, bro. Like, you never know. It could happen. We're crazy like that. We did Proud Mary at a, at a house concert once. Like, we've done a lot of things. And we tried to do Bob Seger. No, we did Bob Seger. We did Bob Seger at the last one. So see, I mean, we do... It's good times. I'm just telling you, it's a really, really fun time and it's gonna be super just relaxed and it's gonna be like sitting in your living room, Ben and I kind of doing our thing. It's it's really, really a fun time. So if you can get out to that show, definitely do it. But you can go to tiagoins.com uh, right now and go to the schedule and all the information is there. You can click and there's a phone number and website and everything so you can get all the information. So check that out. And then also, as of right now, um, the... Um, the Florida Bluegrass Classic that's happening, I believe I play on the Friday night of that. It's February the 11th, I think. Um, but you can check that out, and I will be doing that. Um, it's in Brooksville, Florida. Sorry, I'm, I'm losing my place. Brooksville, Florida, and all that information is on there as well. Hi! Hi from Indiana! I see you there. Yes! Uh, yeah, Virgil said, Tia sings Highway to Hell. Hmm. Yeah, I know, right? No, I don't know if we'd go that far, but yes, we do a lot of really fun requests and it actually turns out to be <laughs> kind of a comedy act. So <laughs> when we do the request segment anyway, it's pretty funny. But uh, yeah, I would definitely um, recommend if you're anywhere near Heber Springs, come out to the show and uh, you'll be entertained. If nothing else, there will be entertainment and it'll be a good time. So that's what I'm going to say about that. Anyway, um, if you guys have any questions or whatever, throw them on there. Ooh, Steve Desperado. Okay. Okay. Um, Steve's going to be there. So I'd say keep that one on the forefront. That's a good one. Uh, in earlier, speaking of Desperados, is so random. Earlier in the uh, quarantine, I had decided I was going to learn to play the piano. <sighs> right? I took lessons when I was a kid, but it didn't stick. So I thought, oh, that's what I'll do. I'll find some online, learn how to play piano, mumbo jumbo, whatever. And that was the one song that I kind of learned how to play. I probably couldn't play it today, but I did learn it for about a week early in the quarantine. Yeah. My thing is, is I'm not real good at sticking with things. I stick with some things, but Unless it really piques my interest, I'm kind of like, I'm out. And the piano thing, I have like, 
I don't know if it's hand eye coordination. I have pretty good. I mean, like I can catch and do all that stuff, but like it's the, it's, it's the muscle memory of my, like I can't, I know where I'm supposed to go and I can't get there and it gets all frustrating for me. And you guys probably play guitar and, and pianos and all that stuff. And you're like, really? It's not even hard. Well, it's hard for me because I've tried to learn the guitar too. And it's not great. I was a drummer actually all through high school. I played drums um, in the concert band, marching band, pep band, jazz band. I was a little drummer girl. That's what I did. A lot of people ask that when I do Q and A's. They're like, do you play an instrument? I play the drums. I haven't played them in a really, really long time. It's been a hot, hot minute since I've played the drums, but yeah, that was what I did. So that's, so my rhythm is all, is all good, but the other stuff, not so hot. Steve said he was first chair triangle in the junior high band. Well, that's something to write home about, my friend. That's good times. I didn't ever play, I don't think I ever played the triangle. Blaine Paxton played the triangle in our band in high school. That's what I remember. I don't remember much about I have a terrible memory. Let me just start there. Let me just drop that. Anyway, I'll get it later. Um, I have a really, really bad memory. Like, I don't remember anything. I don't remember... I remember some from, like, my grade school years, like, elementary school. But I don't remember hardly anything uh, from high school or middle school or college. Like, any of that. I just don't have a great memory. You can ask Brandon. Like, he will tell stories... But then I'm like, was I there? I don't even remember that happening. I, it's terrible. And my sister is the exact same way. My sister and I both. We have the worst memories. But what's strange, don't be afraid. Um, what's really weird is like, we have, like, I, I don't remember events happening. But I can remember, um, like, the exact layout of my grandma's house. Like I can remember where every picture was. I can remember where every book and blanket and all that. Like I can remember all of that, but I don't remember that. Isn't that weird? Yes, Brandon is home every day. Um, someone asked if Brandon was home today. Uh, he is, he's home every day and has been since what, February, babe? Yeah, yeah he's he works from home, um, which we love personally. Um, we're fans of it. And uh, if he never goes back to work, that'll be okay with me because I like him working from home. I like him being here all day. It's pretty nice. We have a pretty great setup going on here. So, yeah, he works from home uh, and has, you know, obviously since the quarantine started. So, it's been nice to have him here because if he hadn't been here and I'd been here all this time not working, that would have been super boring. So, yeah, that's been really nice. But, yeah, he is here. He's just in the other room. I think, are you on lunch break? No. Oh, he's not on lunch break. I'm over here. Be -be 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 -be. Whatever. Um, DJ said, but you remember lyrics like crazy. I do remember lyrics, but I'm not as good at that as I used to be either. Um, there was a time when I could, like, hear a song just a couple of times and I would know the words. And now, especially during these house concerts that Ben and I do, you know, when we do this request segment, you will notice me quickly relying on my phone and on Googling the lyrics uh, on a lot of songs. Because I think if we're all honest, like, there, we know a lot of songs. All of us know a lot of songs. But if you were put on the spot to just sing them, like, the, you know, we mostly know, like, the, ver like the chorus of a song, you know. Like, we might all be able to sing along with the chorus, but when you go into a verse of something and, you, like, uh, you know, and it's great. Like, sure, if I'm singing along with the radio, I think I know it. But if you drop that other voice out, I probably wouldn't know all the words to everything. But I try, you know, I don't know, whatever. It's fine. And the great thing about the request segments on a house concert. By the way, if you are interested in us doing a house concert, they're super fun. Um, but Ben and I will just come, we set up at your house, or if you have like a, a business or a, you know, corporate event or something like that, we come in, uh, and, and we just sit in your living room and we play and it's so fun or whatever, or your back porch, back porch, porch, whatever. Um, <laughs> but that's what we do. And it's, it's really, really, really fun. And but during these request segments that we do, 
it's fun how crazy people will get requesting songs. We did, I don't know if you're familiar with the song, um, Uptown Funk. We did Uptown Funk at a house concert. Um, yeah. And we did, uh, we did some, what, we did a Michael Jackson song at one point. Like, people really try to stump us and do crazy stuff. And then they, they, they also request great songs, like, you know, standards and stuff that we know. But a lot of times, you know, for the fun of it, people will be like, do this or whatever. Because somebody said ACDC earlier. And I'm like, yeah. See, and Virgil just said you could do Landslide by Fleetwood Mac. Absolutely. That's a great song. And speaking of Fleetwood Mac, we did a couch cover of a Fleetwood Mac song. Um, gosh, that's been a minute back. Do you guys remember when that video went viral of that guy? I don't even know where he was. Maybe California or somewhere. But he... Um, he was riding on a skateboard, okay, riding on a skateboard, drinking a, a full bottle, like a big bottle of cranberry juice. This is like a 15 second long video. And in the background, Dreams by Fleetwood Mac is playing. Why did that go viral? No one knows why that went viral, but it did, it went viral, okay. So, by the way, this is brand new and I've never used it before. So, if I end up looking like a clown, forgive me. Uh, that's not bad. Yes, I put highlighter on my over my lipstick. Don't ask. I don't know why. It just like it. I don't know. It's fine. Anyway, but this video went viral. Like millions and millions and millions of views for this 15 second video of a guy on a skateboard drinking a cranberry juice with dreams playing in the background. Dreams got back on the charts because of that. Because people were like, what is that song? It's a great song. Cause you know, that's like a what, 35, what, how old is dreams, Brandon? 40 years old? 1977. Listen to nerd in there knowing what year it came out, 77. So almost 40, over 40 years old, right? Okay. So over 40 years old song. And it's back on the charts because this guy drank cranberry juice. It was crazy. Who knew I would look so good? C, D, it's the mascara. I'm telling you, it's mascara. By the way, I get, uh, it's called Ipsy. And they send you like little free bags. Not free. They're ten, it's $10 a month, but they send you a makeup bag every month. Which I never use any of these. I have stacks of them. But they send you samples of things in it. And this is a sample. Most of the stuff that I use in here is samples because I'm just like a hot mess of D's for Dennis. Dennis, then definitely I would recommend trying some uh, mascara. I think it'll really change your life. Uh, <laughs> anyway, whatever. I probably looked like, dude, did I make that weird mascara face that girls make like, like where they do that? I was trying not to do that, but I probably did. Anyway, doesn't matter. I don't even know what, oh yeah, the dreams thing. Anyway, so when this thing went viral, Ben and I were doing our couch covers. In fact, I think that may have been the first couch cover we did. And we're like, let's do dreams. People are looking for that song, let's do it. So we did it and um, it got a lot of hits. And it was actually really fun because we kind of put our own spin on what is viewed typically as a rock song, you know, Fleetwood Mac, but we kind of did it our way, acoustic, and kind of dialed it back a little, changed the rhythm just a little bit, and it was really cool, and so, um, yeah, it was fun, so those are the kind of songs that we do on couch covers, now, um, we also do songs I've recorded, we did, um, did Mean to Love You, did a version of that, which is actually, maybe, I like that version better than other versions that are out there, just saying, because I like I like the more dialed down version of it. How do we look? Is this good enough for everyone? It's good enough for me because I'm about done with all this. This is as good as it gets, folks. Sorry. Oh, did I forget to put eyeliner on? Oops. Doesn't matter. Anyway, uh, yeah, so that's what we like to do for couch covers. So if you've got a, a couch cover request, you can throw that on here too. I'll, uh, I'll look through those. Duh, I have eyes. What's happening? Thank
Thank you, Julie. She said our version was great. Thanks. Charles said, uh, thank you for all you do and thanks for the email you sent. You're so welcome. Um, if you have not joined Team Tia, it's easy to do. Go to tiagoins.com. There's a little email list. Uh, you just type in your email address, totally free. And I'm trying in 2021, <laughs> again, I'm not good at sticking with things, but I am trying uh, to um, do a little more, do like a monthly kind of a newsletter kind of a thing, kind of let you know what's going on. And, um, and sorry, it's setting spray. Don't be concerned. I'm not spraying my eyes with anything crazy. Um, oh, my version is the best. Even my two-year-old granddaughter loves it. I love that. What's your, what is your name? Let me see that. Petrina, Petrinia, Petrinia. What a pretty name. Um, Anyway, well, thank you. I'm glad that she enjoys that. That's fun. But yeah, that's that's basically what we do on couch covers. And then we also, I guess I completely skipped the track on that too. We have uh, these this video series on YouTube called um, In the Moment with Tia. And Brandon or Ben Hall and I made one. Ben Hall and I did a house concert in, um, we did it in, um, uh, Washington a couple of weeks back right before Christmas and we decided to drive up Mount Hood because it was there and we're like let's go up on Mount Hood and so we did um so that was really fun and Brandon and I have done a couple of them uh we did one the first one we ever did was us just milling through an antique store which is totally goofy and that's what in the moment is they're just they're goofy um and then we did one this past weekend so over New Year's uh, it was on New Year's Day. Brandon and I were like, what are we going to do today? Let's just go drive because that's what we love to do. Like, that's our favorite thing is to go on a road trip. So we jumped in the car and we got on a road and we just drove. Okay. And this road is not far from where we live. We get on the road and we just went. And we stopped at a couple of little towns along the way that had little town squares and kind of, you know, just walked around. It was a really, really nice day. It was very windy, but it was a nice day. Um, anyway, and we ended up in Alabama. So if you're interested in that drama, you can watch that. Um, Kevin said, I loved your in the moment with Brandon the other day. I love Alabama. See, my mama was from there. And that's the thing. I, I'm not super, I mean, I've driven through Alabama, but we'd never really stopped. We went all the way to Huntsville. Um, and we got there that evening and there was like this Christmas tree village that was set up in the downtown. They have a beautiful downtown area. Um, but we walked around their, their like square in Huntsville because it's a big town, but we walked downtown and got, I mean, it was really cool. And so we just tried to document that and I'm going to try to keep doing that as much as we can. So I've got three video series here on this YouTube page and not to mention, you know, as things come up, there'll be new videos of stuff too. Um, when we actually start having shows again and la 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 and all that, because obviously right now, uh, times are slow. <laughs> so, but we do have a show in Heber Springs, Arkansas on January the 30th, Saturday night at the mountaintop cowboy church, six o'clock PM, totally free show, totally free. Just Ben Hall and I acoustic setup. It's going to be super duper duper fun. You can get all the information at tiagoins.com. Go to the schedule and all the phone numbers and email addresses to get your seat saved are there. Um, and then there's also the Florida Bluegrass Classic that's going to be happening on, I believe it's February the 11th. It's a Friday night. I will be there uh, playing. There's a, quite a few people on the, I think the Malpas Brothers are on there. Um, I'm trying to think who all else I saw on there that I knew. But anyway, there's it's a festival. So it goes for two or three days. And I think it's at a, it's at a campground, so you can bring your camper. We have a camper now. We might bring our camper. I don't know. It depends. If Brandon's off work that weekend, we'll definitely bring his camper. Um, Robert said, I just found you in the last couple of months. And your voice is amazing. And this is so fun to see you live. Oh, thank you, Robert. Well, I'm glad that you found me in the quarantine crazy of all this stuff. I'm glad that you discovered this. I don't know what you've stumbled on today. Craziness. I've been sitting here putting on my makeup. So I'm glad that you're here. And um, I'm. it's been really fun kind of to see um, a lot of new people have discovered what we're doing here um, through the quarantine because there was nowhere to go, nowhere else to 
to, you know what I mean? Like we weren't going to shows or whatever. So they've been searching out music, which that's been really nice. Um, it's been a good thing. So I think we've all probably started to, like to do different things to adjust to the quarantine and whatnot. Um, Dan said, I love your CDs. I enjoy playing with them. Oh, that's very cool. I love that. Um, see, it's like you're part of the band. You get a CD and then you play. Um, what instrument do you play, Dan? That's what I'm going to ask you that. Um, but yeah, it's been cool. And just like during the day, oh, steel guitar. Very nice. Very nice. Cause Mike's got some licks on there. So that's, that's a, that's a good study to play along with. That's awesome. Um, but like I've started songwriting during our downtime because I haven't been performing and I hadn't written in forever. Like I'm talking many, 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 many years. And so, um, I kind of stumbled back into that again and I love it. And, um, so that's kind of what I've been doing since we haven't been performing is I've been writing more, which is nice. Um, so yeah, it's, it's been a fun, it's been as, as obviously, and I said this in my, my newsletter that I sent out and you can get that at tiagoins.com and sign up for team Tia. You can get the newsletter because that also lets you know of any shows coming up, um, anything that new that's going on. Um, but as a bummer as this year has been, obviously there's been too many things to name of 2020 that have been bad. Um, I have definitely found some good in it and I hope you have too. I hope you've been able to see a little silver lining of something, uh, during the 2020 year. But anyway, I'm going to bounce off here cause I've got to go meet my friend for lunch. Thanks for uh, hanging with me. Thanks for getting ready with me. And, um, yeah, do I have anything else? I'm trying to think. No, but just definitely make sure that you're subscribed. If you're watching this right now, subscribe and turn on those notifications. That would be awesome. And um, share this. Share. You can share this or share, you know, a more musical video if you want with your friends and say, hey, subscribe to Tia, you know, because I am trying to build up. I've got about um, 6,000 uh, uh, subscribers on here. I would love to hit 10,000 in the next month or two. I know that's like a lofty goal, but the more you share it and tell people about it, the more that helps me out. So anyway, have a great rest of your week, rest of your day. Be watching for a new couch cover video this week. It'll probably be on Wednesday or Thursday that I'll post that. So um, be watching for that and I will talk to y'all soon. I'll talk to you next Tuesday. Okay.